In the tranquil countryside of Greenfield Valley, nestled beneath the watchful gaze of towering oak trees and the gentle murmur of a nearby stream, a group of friends gathered for a picturesque picnic. Among them were Laura, the cheerful and outgoing organiser of the outing, Mark, her adventurous and thrill-seeking best friend, Sarah, the kind-hearted and compassionate soul of the group, and Chris, the laid-back and easy-going companion who always brought a sense of calm to any situation. The sun dipped low on the horizon as the friends spread out their blankets and unpacked their picnic baskets, laughter and chatter filling the air as they enjoyed the warmth of the summer evening. But, as darkness began to fall and shadows stretched across the valley, a sense of unease settled over the group, as if something ominous lurked just beyond the edge of their idyllic gathering. As they gathered around the crackling fire, Sarah suggested they tell ghost stories to pass the time. Eager to impress his friends, Mark launched into a tale of a haunted mansion deep in the woods, its halls prowled by vengeful spirits seeking retribution for past wrongs. His story sent shivers down their spines, but they laughed it off as nothing more than a figment of his imagination. As the night wore on and the fire burned low, Laura suggested they explore the woods surrounding the clearing, eager to stave off the encroaching darkness for just a little while longer. Mark, always up for an adventure, eagerly agreed, and the group set off into the moonlit forest, their footsteps muffled by the soft carpet of pine needles beneath their feet. But as they ventured deeper into the woods, they began to sense that they were not alone. Shadows seemed to dance among the trees, and strange noises echoed through the darkness, sending chills down their spines. Brushing off their fears, they pressed on, determined to enjoy their evening, despite the growing sense of unease. As they stumbled upon a clearing bathed in moonlight, they decided to stop and rest. The soft grass beneath their feet a welcome respite from the rugged terrain of the forest. But as they settled in, a sense of dread washed over them, as if they had stumbled upon something ancient and malevolent lurking just beneath the surface. Suddenly the peaceful night was shattered by a blood-curdling scream echoing through the trees. Panic gripped the group as they scrambled to their feet, their hearts pounding in their chests as they searched frantically for the source of the sound. It was then that they saw it a shadowy figure lurking at the edge of the clearing, its eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. With a cry of fear, they turned and ran, their footsteps echoing through the forest as they fled from the unseen terror that pursued them. Branches tore at their clothes, and roots threatened to trip them up, but they pushed on, driven by a primal instinct to survive. Just when they thought they couldn't run any longer, they stumbled upon the edge of the forest, the moonlight spilling across the valley like a beacon of hope. With one final burst of energy, they broke free from the trees and stumbled into the clearing where they had started their picnic, their breath coming in ragged gasps as they collapsed to the ground, safe at last. As the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, the friends emerged from the forest, their bodies bruised and battered, but their spirits unbroken. And as they glanced back at the woods, they knew that they had narrowly escaped a fate far worse than they could have ever imagined, a fate that lurked in the shadows at sunset, waiting to claim its next victim. In the heartland of America, where golden fields stretch to meet the endless horizon, and the summer sun beats down with relentless intensity, a group of friends embarked on a picnic adventure that would plunge them into a nightmare they would never forget. The friends, comprised of Emily, the spirited and adventurous leader, Jack, the charming jokester with a love for the outdoors, Megan, the kind-hearted and nurturing soul of the group, and Ryan, the skeptical yet open-minded companion, set out on their journey with excitement and anticipation.
Their destination was a secluded spot deep in the countryside, far from the hustle and bustle of city life. As they spread out their blankets and unpacked their picnic baskets, laughter filled the air and the promise of a perfect summer day seemed within reach. But as the sun began to sink lower in the sky and shadows lengthened across the landscape, a sense of unease settled over the group. Emily suggested they explore the nearby woods, eager to add a sense of adventure to their outing. Despite some apprehension, the group agreed, their curiosity outweighing their fears. As they ventured deeper into the forest, the air grew thick with humidity, and the chirping of crickets gave way to an eerie silence that seemed to echo through the trees. Megan shivered, a sense of foreboding gnawing at her insides, but she brushed off her fears— not wanting to spoil the fun for her friends, but as they stumbled upon a clearing bathed in dappled sunlight, their sense of unease turned to outright terror. Standing in the centre of the clearing was a figure cloaked in shadow, its form indistinct and blurred by the shifting light. With a cry of fear, the friends turned to flee, but their path was blocked by a wall of impenetrable darkness that seemed to stretch on forever. Panic surged through their veins as they realized they were trapped, the sinister figure drawing closer with each passing moment. In a desperate bid for survival, they huddled together, their hearts pounding in their chests as they braced themselves for whatever horrors awaited them. But just as all hope seemed lost, the darkness began to recede, the figure melting away like mist in the morning sun. With trembling limbs and racing hearts, the friends stumbled out of the forest, their minds reeling from the horrors they had witnessed. As they collapsed onto their blankets, the warmth of the sun washing over them, they knew that they had narrowly escaped a fate far worse than they could have ever imagined. But as they glanced back at the forest, they couldn't shake the feeling that something malevolent still lurked within its depths, waiting for its next opportunity to strike, and as they packed up their picnic and headed for home, they vowed never to return to that cursed place again, knowing that some mysteries were better left unsolved. In the sleepy town of Briarwood, nestled amidst ancient forests and rolling hills, stood an imposing mansion known as Briarwood Manor. With its ivy-covered walls and looming turrets, the mansion cast a shadow over the surrounding countryside, its dark history whispered about in hushed tones by the townsfolk. Briarwood Manor had long been abandoned, its once grand halls now nothing more than a decaying shell of their former glory. But for Claire, a curious young woman with a fascination for the supernatural, the mansion held an irresistible allure. Determined to uncover the truth behind its haunted reputation, she embarked on a journey that would change her life forever. As Claire stepped through the wrought-iron gates of Briarwood Manor, a chill ran down her spine. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, and the mansion seemed to loom over her like a spectre from the past. Ignoring the sense of foreboding that gnawed at her, she pressed on, her heart pounding with a mixture of fear and excitement. As she ventured deeper into the mansion, Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. Shadows danced in the corners of her vision, and strange whispers echoed through the empty halls. But despite her growing uneasy, she pressed on determined to uncover the truth behind Bria Wood Manor's dark past. It wasn't long before Clara stumbled upon a hidden staircase leading down into the bowels of the mansion. With trembling hands, she descended into the darkness, her flashlight cutting through the gloom like a beacon of hope. But as she reached the bottom, she realized with a sinking feeling in her stomach that she was not alone. Standing before her was a figure, cloaked in shadow, its features obscured by darkness. Claire's heart raced as she tried to make sense of what she was seeing, her mind struggling to comprehend the impossible. But before she could react, the figure spoke, its voice a chilling whisper that sent shivers down her spine. "'You should not have come here, mortal,' it hissed, its words filled with a cold fury. "'This place belongs to us now.' and we will never let you leave. 
With a cry of fear, Claire turned and fled, the sound of her footsteps echoing through the empty halls as she raced towards the exit. But no matter how fast she ran, she could feel the presence of something malevolent hot on her heels, its icy grip tightening with each passing moment. As she burst through the doors of Briarwood Manor and stumbled out into the cool night air, Claire knew that she had escaped by the skin of her teeth. But as she looked back at the mansion looming in the darkness, she realized that the horrors she had encountered were far from over. For Briarwood Manor was not just haunted by the spirits of the past, but by something far more sinister, something that hungered for the souls of the living. And as Claire fled into the night, she knew that she would never be able to escape the shadow of Briarwood Manor, for its darkness had become a part of her own.